time slot in fairy, bro. I don't remember the last time I used fairy, to be honest with you. What, what, what do I use it for? Other than that, oh, the Vicola thing, right? Vicola and fairy combo? That's the last time I used her. For that one video. Sonya. What's this? Massive dark damage to a foe. The debuff immunity to all allies while in effect. Oblivion's progression. This is big boost, right? Big boost is the same effect as on the Opus, right? But it only goes to the skill level 15, opposed to the skill level 20. Right? That's the only difference between this and the Opus. I think Opus is what, 57%, right? So I'm guessing this is like, 50-ish? Anybody know the actual number on her weapon at skill level 15? But I'm guessing like 50 is maybe 49, 48. No, not the cap. How much did the progression give at skill level 15? Oh, oh, they both cap at 57 then. Oh, really? I thought that once you get to skill level 20, it, um, the cap went up. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we have Emity. It's, it's okay. That's a double attack mod, though. That's not bad. It kind of removes the reason to put the, uh... It kind of removes the reason of putting this on your Opus. But it's a harp, right? So it's that kind of boo-boo. I don't, I don't know if I, what's the Ogi effect on when you bar at the four star. Another dark harp, huh? Uh, dudes, what is what is so the Ogi effect? Does it not show it? Where the fuck do you find the Ogi effect? I want to see the Ogi effect. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is so the Ogi. Does anybody know the, what the Ogi does? Oh, the Fairy Harp is way better than Ogi? Okay. So you probably never, you're never gonna use this, right? Because Fairy Harp exists. Feels Fairy Harp, dude. I don't think it's that bad of a weapon, though. I don't know what, the, I mean, you can slot it for five, definitely. But I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of damage from one weapon, right? I don't, I don't think it's a bad weapon. Just that there's not much content where you want to run this other than like, let's say Nightmare 150, Fa, New Baja maybe. Other than that, I don't, I don't think there's much. I don't think, I don't know how much this would affect like, you Baja, not you Baja, Baja at high level, to be honest. Akasha, yeah, Akasha, Akasha, Akasha too. Mm -hmm. Akasha works. Because you'll get really fast turn counter. So all content in the game? Uh, yeah, pretty much. If you're not farming grids, yeah. But I don't think it's a bad weapon. The fact that you don't have to change Opus Key is pretty big to me. That, that, this is the biggest part. Because I, I don't have to keep changing my Opus. Cause right now I have the problem of like swapping my opus for the um So right now I have the problem of swapping opus key too much on this one from like stamina progression and stuff like that. So the fact that it has this is pretty great in my opinion. But would I bar it though? Probably not, to be honest. Not right now, at least. I would wait personally, but I think it's a decent weapon though. Um, uh, so it's gonna ray. See the Harvin, obviously. Dark Harvin, special staff. 
Oh, that katana there? Is this her katana? So I'm trying to understand where the fuck you get katana proof from. Is this supposed to be some type of katana here or something, bro? I don't know, but... I'm guessing that's the katana area. Maybe. Okay. Celestial vision to a foe. That'll do, that'll do Ogi damage, right? Remove one buff. Hit to debuff resistance. A light attack at multi-attack rate. Isn't it Fun Fun Ogi on like steroids? So Fun Fun doesn't hit to debuff resistance. But this light attack and multi-attack rate down and and like all this right here. The remove one buff, hit to light attack and hit to uh, multi-attack. Now mind you, Fun Fun's a dark attack, but it's like legit Fun Fun Ogi. And debuff resistance. Now, I don't know what this Celestial Vision to a foe is. Maybe you'll see it in her kit. The fuck are this skill? One is what? Take control of another dark ally, making them attack twice each turn. So, does he give your character dual strike? What, what do you mean by take control of another dark ally, though? Ends on recast. So, you get permanent dual strike. Oh, she doesn't attack? Okay. Switch position with a sub-ally. Oh, so you can swamp your location. When switching with a dark ally, take control of the ally, sharply boosting stats. Hit to the ally's defense. So kind of like Morigna. Yeah, it's Morigna. Like, isn't it like the exact same boost as Morigna? And she so can swamp position. So if you go in slot one, it's, you go to slot three, four. You can pick though. No, it didn't say. No, I don't think you can pick. Maybe you can pick. Hmm. Cold steer. <clears throat> Take control of all foes, reducing their elemental damage to zero. The fuck? Under rage control, reducing elemental damage dealt to zero. Cannot be removed. End of rage, not a main ally. So, wait, but it's only one turn though. Oh, I guess you can't do like cold stare and then this skill too, I guess. For shenanigans? Her skill 4 progress battle turn by 5 at the end of turn. Activate only when cast is a main ally. Cannot recast. Oh, 7 turn, um, 7 turn conjunction. Sounds good. Ray can attack while controlling allies or foes. So she can't attack while using skill one or skill three. Boost two dark allies CA specs against a foe with celestial vision. Takes effect even when Ray is sub ally. Is there a way to get for instant Ogi charge though? How the fuck are you Ogi with this hero? I don't, I don't understand. Cause I'm gonna hit one and two, but I also want that boost though. <laughs> no, I know she attacks, but I, I want to hit one and two. Like, do you, do you see the buffs? Do you see these? Do you see these buffs? I want to hit one and two. Yeah, but I, I want to hit one and two though. I gotta not hit one and two for the ogi. You ogi, then you press it. Not nah, too long. That's too long. I don't want to. I don't want to wait that long. I gotta get her to a hundred percent charge bar, and then use one and two. It's a GBF. I ain't got no time to be waiting to get her to a hundred percent Ogi. And what content? Get her to a hundred percent Ogi. I don't know about all that. Maybe in Fa. 
Oh right, if Fox, she'll, she'll if she takes if she's in the front row, right, she'll take damage and then she'll get charge bar. Duh. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Uh, her EMPs. This potato EMPs. Oh, she has stamina EMPs, huh? From looks of it, stamina. Uh, but her weapon emity. What type of fucking backwards character is this? Yeah, her MP nodes are stamina, but why are they backwards? You got stamina, stamina, dark attack, dark attack. To be honest, this is about the best EMP that a potato can get. Potato generally have shitty MPs, so the fact that she has like this is pretty good. Normally, potatoes they don't have good EMPs because you know they get cucked, um, in the beginning part. Like this part, they get cucked in, and generally in this they get cucked. You can uncast it. Oh, you, but you, she wouldn't get charge bar, right? If you if you uncast it. Yeah, uh, this is Morigna buff. The skill right here is Morigna. You give it to a unit like Six, Solemn, a unit where they don't take damage. Vicola can take it too. But you you would give this to a unit where they don't want to take damage. To be honest, Dark the unit where like dodge rate, right? Doesn't like Vashiraga have a ton of dodge rate too? Can't you like stack that dodge rate together? Different buffs, right? No, it's hostility. But you, you probably get to a different unit that like, you know, Vashiraga, six, Solemn, uh, BK even. Units that can like protect themselves in a way. Bikala. I'm assuming that swapping out her skill three won't activate near passive. I mean, skill two, right? I'm assuming it won't activate her uh, passive, unfortunately. That'd be broken as fuck, dude. Um, but you get death, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. All I want to look at is just try to like def and then use her skill one on six. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. <laughs> That's all I care about. I don't know about her whole Ogi shit, dude. Like, but I, I don't think her Ogi stuff is practical. But all I care about is def six. <laughs> That's all I care about. That That's what I'm looking at, bro. I like. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of, like, this whole Ogi thing, it didn't seem practical to me. Maybe in, like, longer content, but it takes too long. What's that a clip of? Oh, the character? Yeah. See, dev, six, and then get six to attack again. Seems fair. But that's his stamina, by the way. What is this? We need stamina built in 2020? No! <laughs> Main character. Oh no, he gave the six. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it looks about right. I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to think about it because you know, so what else you gonna use it on? Surprise, surprise. Wait, what? Uh, this probably oh this probably grand order I guess and grand order setup. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
right if you look at this clip again hold up uh okay damn how long how long do i gotta make this stupid thing all right there you go but yeah if you look at this clip right look really closely at your characters look really closely at the characters they they, they have a debuff on them and they don't have zoe protection Meaning that if they get hit with any Ogi, they're pretty much dead. So while this looks cute and all, it's not practical in any hard content. Because they're gonna, you're going to run to a trigger and you're going to die. Because you're going to have the 50% defense down. And you don't have Zoe skill 2 to protect you. So while it, this is cute, don't get me wrong, it's not really practical. It's, it's, it's legit not practical. Just throwing it out there. Now there probably be some like in lower tier content this could probably work, but anything like like a GW nightmare or something you're gonna die, you're gonna run into that first trigger and you're gonna get exploded because of near defense down and you don't have Zoe. Zoe skill two does not allow you to take damage, so that helps you a ton. So, just keep in mind that the whole death near thing with this character is not nearly as easy to do as with Zoe. Zoe is like, allowed you that protection to run into triggers. This character does not. However, if the trigger's plane damage, who cares? <laughs> um. Okay. That's what covers it. Uh. Her Ogi, I don't, uh, I gotta see in practicality. I don't think her Ogi is that practical, to be honest. Like, I'd rather be hitting her skill one and skill two, personally. So getting to have her Ogi first, it's gonna take a while. It's Dark Lock, isn't it? Dark Ally. You only take control of a dark ally, and her buff only applies to a dark ally. However, she does have substitute in general. Like you can still substitute with her, but then Chloe does the same thing. But the buffs only apply to dark allies. Though and you you tried it, Naru, but it doesn't um, apply to other Ellie's. At least from the looks of it. I, maybe the text is wrong in English, but um, says so dark allies. Okay. She's dope. She's dope. I'm pretty sure there's a way to really abuse her. The only thing with the death near thing is that you will die. You will die. Because you don't have Zoe. So keep that in mind. Uh, so we're going to Lesia next. <laughs> 